All right, today at Western Iowa Tech here in our lab, we're going to uh, remove some emission bolts. You can see this, we've already went ahead and did one of these, and what they do is they hold down the carburetor bolt, and what they, the manufacturer does is they snap the end of it off so that there's no way for you to remove it. But if we want to clean this and service this, we're going to have to drill these out. We've got a couple techniques on how we're going to do that. Jeff here, one of the students at the college, has already made a center punch mark in the middle of this bolt so that we can start our drill. He's going to start the drill. Pressure, let the drill bit do yeah, work towards the camera a little slower. You lean in this way. That pulls a little crooked. Okay, let's stop and we'll inspect our work. One thing that really helps with this is to stop and clean it out. It looks like he's doing a good job. He's good. You can kind of straighten the drill now. Slow pressure, let the drill do the work. A little slower. Now this drill bit, since we used it last time, and these are pretty cheap by the kit, there's a good chance that it can break or snap. So we definitely want to use some slow drilling here. Now we're not getting a lot of chunks out. What's that tell you about the drill bit? It's dull. No, it's getting dull. Well, there we go. of the camera here. While he's drilling that out, I'm going to show you this little extractor set. It has a, a drill bit you could be using on this side, and then it has a left-handed extractor on this side. You simply put it in the drill and then back the bolt out. Uh, it worked great uh, using it on the other one. All right, we're going to switch to the extractor. Now try and have it where it's not real deep in there because we don't want to hit the body of the carburetor. So give it a little test before you tighten it down too tight and see if you're going to be long enough. Okay, uh, we should be good. Now you're going to. Now we got to remember we have to do this left-handed. So as you go ahead and tighten your chuck up as tight as you can by hand. Make it unreversed. Okay, test it before you try. Okay. Go real slow, put a little pressure on there. Okay. Straight. Okay, go ahead. Nope, oh, gotta put some pressure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, nope, this one is not working. Go ahead and back it out. Now, we might be bottoming out. We might need to go a little bit further with our drill bit. I'm going to test this. Yep, we need to go deeper with our drill bit. Let's go ahead and try the drill bit on that, on this one. Let's see what happens by just using the drill bit side of it. And then we'll switch it back to the normal direction. Not too deep. Just remember, you're going to hit the body probably. I think you're going to be too short. If you're hitting, so extend it out. says in the drill to use reverse two. It's a reverse drill bit too. So do you have it on left? Yes. Okay. And then don't push too hard. And I believe it says to go and throw it on the bottom. Now, 
before. Okay. 